Ditches of Water. To understand this story, you're going to have to understand the geography of what's going on here. If you have a book of biblical maps, this would be a good one to get that out and to find out where is Moab, where is Edom, where is Judah, and where is Israel. But for the sake of just uh, understanding, we'll just pretend this, that, that my hand here is the, is the Dead Sea. And from the way you're looking at it, to the, to the west of the Dead Sea, you have way over here, you have, you have the Mediterranean. Now, between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea, you have, a, you, you have um, mountains that go way up and then down. Uh, and, and down here on the lower part, actually, the Philistines live down here. But you have Israel, or, or, or Judah, goes up this mountainside. And this is the fertile part. This is the green part. And then Judah goes down. Up at, up at the top, you have Jerusalem and uh, uh, Bethel and Bethlehem and uh, all, the, all the cities that are along the top of the ridge. Coming down this side of the ridge, coming down to the Dead Sea, you have the, you have the wilderness part. Now, all of this over here is Judah. So the Dead Sea is here and everything over to the Mediterranean, except for what the Philistine has, kind of the south. This is all Judah going up to Jerusalem and down to the Dead Sea. On the east side is Moab. Moab is on the east side of this Dead Sea. The Jordan River goes up from the Dead Sea, and this side is Moab. Now, going across the top right here, going north, is Israel, the divided kingdom. Judah, Judah's over here. Israel goes across. You have Jericho right here, and it goes right, just right, just, just right straight across and up. Now, up in this area, there's a little a country of uh, Ammon. Now, they didn't used to be little, but David pretty well humbled them down to a small uh, country at this time. So Israel has all of this up above. Edom is down below, down at the bottom. So let's just go through it. Judah on this side, over to the Mediterranean, going up the mountain, but down to the, uh, down the valley. Moab's on this side. Israel's across the entire top, and Edom's across the bottom. So what Israel did, because Samaria is up in the mountains as well, they, they came down to, came down from Israel, came down to Judah, picked up Judah with the uh, king, king Jehoshaphat went down across the bottom of the Dead Sea where Edom is at, picked, picked up their army, came up over on the east side of the Dead Sea out here, which is desert. Now, now once they got there, they, they knew the area. They weren't surprised they were without water. Uh, they were surprised they were without water because uh, there was a spring there. They thought there'd be plenty of water, and there wasn't. The spring was dried up, and so they were caught. Caught out here in, in this desert, in the land of Moab. They were vulnerable. So if you understand that geography, the Dead Sea, Judah, Moab, Edom on the bottom, Israel on top, and how they came across. Now, they could have come right straight down, but they weren't going to surprise them. They came around the bottom and, and, and came up. Interesting, the Moabite king that is in this story is Mesha. Mesha is the one that rebelled against Israel. Interesting, he wrote about it. We actually have copies of his writings. He, uh, uh, actually the stone was destroyed, but, uh, uh, but before it was destroyed, we, we were able to get, uh, to get it in, in a mold. It's called the Moabite stone. It was about three feet high, two feet wide, and about 14 inches thick. And Mesha wrote about his rebellion to Israel. It's kind of interesting to have this king write about this very story. Um... Elisha told the three kings what they were to do. What he told them was totally conquer Moab. They were to stop up the wells, 
ruin the fields, cut down the trees, conquer all, 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 all the cities. And they were in the process of doing that, but the sacrifice of the Moabite prince worked. The king took his son up there and sacrificed him and enraged his own people and made the enemies disgusted and they just turned and went home. Consequently, Moab was still an independent country, quite ruined, but still was not under subject to, to, to Israel. They became strong and eventually attacked Judah and Israel in time. God meant for this country to be humbled, destroyed, brought under subject, but they did not do what God wanted. And consequently, Moab came back to bite them. Well, come back next week when we continue on with more story insights on the story of the week. We'll see you next week.